Hi guys and welcome to to uh, pair. Hi guys and welcome to a tutorial on how to set up ZDoom Loader with Xandro number three and how to get it working on a server amongst other things. Now the reason why I'm doing this tutorial again is basically because my other my other video had really bad audio sync issues. I'm not entirely sure why. I think it was because I bounced it when I bounced it in um, Vegas 11. YouTube was just shitting itself at the fact that it wasn't in sync or something like that. So. Whatever. <laughs> now, so we're just going to start from the very beginning here as well. Um, my previous video I did on on this matter was it was very cut to the chase kind of server stuff. But what I'll do in this video is I'll do um, setting up Z Doom Loader as setting up Zandron on three to its ideal state as well, and also setting up the server like I did in the previous video. Now, one thing before I get started is when you have Zandronum installed, I'll have all the links in the description, everything like that. Um, so with Zandronum, the problem that I had with it, because I tried to make this video before um, and I've just deleted it now because I ran into way too many issues. But the problem that I had with it is it wouldn't find any of my Doom Ward files. Even if I pointed it to the, to the right directory. The way that I solved this problem was basically just putting all of your original WAD files from your Steam directory or wherever you got it from. I'm not one to judge. Um, just put those in the Zandronum directory uh, like you're seeing on screen here. Um, so when you boot up Zandronum or go to host the server it will ask you where the WADs are. It'll just simply ask which one you want to boot up. Assuming that you haven't you know configured that already um so that'll all be there like so um then that's basically the thing that you want to make sure it's sorted so i'll put all the download links in the description for project brutality and things like that um so let's just get sorted so, where you want to start off in ZDoom Loader once you have it installed is go to the settings tab up the top here and then set up your source ports and engines um, so this is basically just pointing it to Zandronum uh, or if you're using a different engine for example Chocolate Doom or what was the other one there? like GZ Doom or something like that just simply add it into here so it'll say I'd come up with this little window like so add source port slash engine type in, your, type in the name this is pretty much irrelevant this is just for your sake so I'm just going to call it Zandronum 3 done then search for the executable into wherever you installed it. So mine was uh, E uh, Games Doom. Then Zandronum 3, Zandronum. Done. So that's that out of the way. And then you want to add the original WAD directories for all of the original Doom. So Doom 1, 2, TNT, Plutonia. And this is done under this little section here. And then just go down to Add. So Name, Doom. Uh, well, technically, I have Ultimate Doom. So, Ultimate Doom. So, I moved my, all of mine into the place where I installed ZDLs, Android, and things like that, just to make life easier. Um, so, that's that. Then, Doom to Hell on Earth. And then just go to Doom 2. Then, want to go to TNT Eve. Ugh. Evolution, and yes, that is actually how it's spelled in the original. <laughs> uh, and then want to the Plutonia experiment. Plutonia done. Okay, so you've got all your original WAD files set up from the original games. No mods, they're all there. And then what you want to do there is go across to main all sorted so there you'll have all of your original games and things like that if you just wanted to play it vanilla that's perfectly fine you can do so just simply by going to clicking on any of these and clicking launch down there so yours might look like this so launch down there that should be fine um, so what we're going to do however we're going to be setting up project brutality so what you want to do is first of all find out where you exported it so I exported in Doom, Mods, uh, Project Brutality then Project Brutality 
And then also one quick thing, you'll want to add skull tag actors to this um, because it's pretty much used in every single one of these Brutal Doom-esque mods. Um, it will, if you're using Sanjoram 3, it'll come with your installation there, so just go Doom where you installed Sanjoram, then skull, skull tag actors. Now make sure that's in front of Project Brutality. Um, this is the load order, basically. You want to make sure you get this right. Oh, piss off. You Right, you'll want to make sure that you get this right. Um, basically, this is just telling your t telling ZDM Loader in which order, obviously, to run all of these different data files. So, the order that you want to go in is any music mod that you have for anything like that. Put that right at the top, so above Project Brutality, and then put either Brutal Doom slash Project Brutality there. Then skull tag actors, then anything else. So anything that involves gameplay mods, HUD mods, things like that, those all go after all of that. And once that's sorted, simply just click the game that you want to boot it up with. And then I'll be choosing Doom 2 because I don't know, it tends to work better with Doom 2. I do prefer Doom 1 myself, but whatever. So here we go. Oh, no, that's for later. So just ignore that that happened. <laughs> Then click launch, uh, it's still doing it. Yeah, there we go. So then it'll boot up with this screen here, it'll load all your shit, blah 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 blah, and why is it on the wrong screen? Ugh, god damn it. Right, video mode. Right, okay, so I'll just do that for now. Right, so I'll just leave it in windowed for now, whatever, it's not a big deal. So once everything boots up, there are a few options you want to go through just to basically make sure you have the best experience. And these are basically changing up your video settings um, so it works properly. I've already done this in a configuration. So what you want to do is, first of all, video mode, choose your resolution. So I've, I think my resolution for some reason is under, right, whatever, for, yeah, just choose your resolution. So then what you want to do is then go to display options. Uh, most of this stuff here is basically just preferences, whatever you want to do, put it on there, no problem, good to go. So what you want to do then, after you've done this, is go into OpenGL options there, go to Dynamic Light options and make sure that it's set to pretty much what I've got it now. The only thing you'll need to change, if I'm not mistaken, is um, using shaders for lights, turn that on, and then light size, you want to change that to about 1.4. Just adjust it to taste, I like it on 1.4 because I like my uh, very nice lights. Uh, then go to texture options. Now you want to get it set up pretty much exactly like this for the nicest look. Um, so in fact, there's one thing I skipped on. Um, if you go in video mode, change the renderer to OpenGL. Um, this is basically shifting all of the video processing to your hardware, so your CPU and your graphics card. Um, this is basically, if you have this in software, the experience is just dreadful. It's like original MS-DOS Doom, right? So if you have it set on software, because the engine, the game wasn't originally meant for mouse looking upwards. So if you do that, then all hell breaks loose. Trust me, you do not want to render it on software. So keep the render on OpenGL and then you'll have all the access to the options um, in OpenGL options here. So sorry about that, I forgot about that. And then texture options, like I said, keep it all like this. If you want to pause the video and copy those, go for it. Preferences, now again, preferences. This is pretty much what it says on the tin if you prefer this kind of stuff. Um, whatever you want to prefer, ambient light level, this is basically just gamma. <laughs> I guess it's core, so I keep it on around about 30. And then rendering quality, I go for quality. Vertex buffer, dynamic. Dynamic just sounds better, all right? I, I'm not a programmer, I don't know how this stuff works. Just keep it on dynamic. Um, and then simply, that should be it, all right? And then you'll have a very, very nice time. So one thing I should mention as well in video mode, or is it? display options yeah vertical sync keep that off right and then project brutality settings rendering settings keep performance mode on i've noticed there are some really mad frame drops even when you're just walking about the place so you'll have a very nice time blah 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 yeah yeah that's very nice so once that's all sorted you can 
boss, you can adjust the game to taste and how what I do on my videos for maximum brutality kind of stuff. Um, I normally just go to Project Brutality settings. I think it's uh, brutal uh, global settings. Uh, I normally keep this on alternative. Uh, brutal Doom options. Uh, yes, Blood Amount. Keep it on. I have it overdrawn a blood bank because it just looks 10 times better. You'll see what I mean in a minute. There we go. So there's just ridiculous amounts of blood, <laughs> which is just fan dabby dozy. There, you see what I mean? Much, much better. And then that's all pretty much sorted on the game side. Um, so once you've done that, that's everything sorted for you if you just want to play solo. Um, now we're basically we're going to be moving on to the uh, the server stuff. So I'll just quit that out. There we go. And then you want to be sorting out the server side, right? So the first thing that you're going to need is Hamachi. And the second thing that you're going to need is the user manual that comes with Xandronum 3. Now I can't speak for any other engines uh, for the simple fact that Oh no, not Xandronum 3 manual, ignore what I just said, the, the user manual that comes with Project Brutality. Because um, it has loads of server command lines and things like that, which basically just make making your server so much easier in the long run. Um, so, I'll just quickly pull that up. Uh, bear with me in one second. So, going to Doom, Z Doom Loader, uh, nope, not Z Doom Loader, Mods. Project Brutality, and make sure you open the user manual in Chrome or Microsoft Edge because Firefox really doesn't like the fact that you open, can open PDFs in it. That's fine, whatever. So here we have it then. So here's the manual that you, the the place that you want to be really going to is multiplayer setup. So just Control on F that and just type in multiplayer. There we go. So we'll leave that there for now. And then go into Z Doom Loader. Now to enable server side settings, go into you need to pull up this little tab here on this arrow, go into multi settings, enable that. That's fine. So make sure you've got it all set up like this. So client slash server model. So this basically what you can do with this is put in all the command lines and things like that and not actually have to boot up the game. Port, keep it to 10 triple six. If this port isn't available, it will bump it up a port, so don't worry too much about that. Um, for duplex, just not specified. Enable, give that a tick, press OK. Then in game mode down here, set this to co-op if you're wanting to go PvE. PvP is obviously deathmatch. So, now what you want to do is choose the amount of players that you want in your server, and set up your host name and the server IP. So with the host name, it's, you can choose pretty much anything you want. Um, I don't really know what kind of effect this has. Who cares? Whatever. And then slash and then the IPv4 address from Hamachi. And that'll be simply when you open up Hamachi, just right click here, copy IPv4, sorted. And then once you've done that, simply just click on change the map that you want to boot up into and what difficulty you want and then press launch. It'll launch up this little server client and then to change your server and password, simply just go into settings, configure server, name your server, I'm just going to call it uh, brutal, because why not? And then gameplay, just change this to whatever you want to, so skill and then bot skill, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so then password, so require a password, so I'm just going to put mine as swag because I'm that kind of guy. And then we go into Project Brutality here, these settings. This is only if you want to boot up in Project Brutality. If you want Brutal Doom, it's classic version 2. Point, well, 2 or B. And traditional is obviously traditional. And then use these command lines here to use the... And then put them into the server like so. And then... There we go. So it'll tell you which command lines you're putting here. So you want to keep that like that, and last of all, you want to be choosing your spawn balance. Um, now it's normally, if I'm not mistaken, it's normally on dynamic progression, which is spawn balance 9. However, I keep mine on spawn balance 3, 
which is all the alternative stuff. I do this mainly to make sure that I get all of the Project Brutality's weapons first. So like the uh, the assault rifle and uh, all the other shotguns, things like that. So if it looks like that, then you're pretty much good to go. Simply just going to File, Join Server. All sorted. And then Space to Spawn, Join Game, Class Project Brutality. Yep, Join Game. Then you'll spawn in. Now, if you want to be get, if you want to, is that a BFG? One minute. What the fuck? I remember this being in Doom. Right, whatever. Right, okay. So what you want to do then is go. If you're joining the server, simply just go into the console there by pressing the tilde key, which is to the left of one, and then just type connect. That's comment, not connect. Connect, and then the IPv4 from Hamachi. Um, so if you you can copy and paste in this command console. So if you do that, so right click, copy, boom, paste there, and then colon, then the port. Um, so in this case, it would be one zero triple six, and then simply just press enter, and it'll connect you to the server, like so. And then you've pressed space to join. Join game. Join game. All side. So the thing is with the server side as well is that every time that little server command line thing is up, um, so this little thing here, the server will actually be responding and online. Um, so as you can see there, even though I just rejoined the server, the ser shut up. So the level didn't actually get reset. Um, so it's basically it's just basic server knowledge obviously to keep running if you have the little uh, client there running and that's everything you'll need to know to basically join a server and set up Zandronum with Zdoom Loader things like that so hopefully this has been a better experience than my previous tutorial if you liked be sure to obviously like it and if you didn't like it thumbs down I won't judge you we all have different tastes am I right so yeah, that's everything. So if you enjoyed it, like I said, like, dislike, whatever, share it about with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video.